Welcome back everybody to RimWorld. Today there was a new game update and I swear to god that the uh the, the Tyna must be watching my videos because the new update focuses around getting steel, which I'm, I'm more than happy about to be honest with you. So one of the big changes is to deep drills, and this is kind of obvious when you actually click on it now. The radius has been up to 21 blocks apparently, so it was what nine before i think but as you can clearly see it takes way less time now to mine out the blocks that we'll need so i'll go ahead and reinstall the drill down there to cover up the new area apparently the way it works though is that the the actual like drill cost is lower the power usage is lower the actual yield from mining one of these blocks is a lot higher however the size of the chunks will be a lot smaller to make up for it so because we've already generated this one and i think we've already generated another one as well this one here the size of it is, is massive, and it's still going to give that bonus to the yield. So us kind of getting the update mid-save has worked out quite nicely in our favor. But in the future, any more that we generate will be obviously a lot smaller than what we've got going on right now. It also has split mining and drilling, so they are affected by separate things. So, for example, the drill arm, which was the one thing I started talking about yesterday, started planning for, which has now basically been made redundant. The drill arm doesn't work with drilling anymore. Um, or more specifically, it says on the actual update post that it's less effective. I don't know what that quite means. Um, but basically the drill arm is meant for mining, and then obviously for deep drilling, it does make a lot of sense that an arm attachment wouldn't make any difference to that. So, these have been made way more useful, but there are some caveats to it, and that being that the mining bonuses that normally apply to it no longer applies, and I think that's a much better trade-off as far as I'm concerned. Because obviously it didn't make any sense before anyway that you could give a guy two drill arms and suddenly the deep drill will run a lot faster. So you can see now that obviously we've got the mining. I think we have mining and drilling separate anyway because we had the complex jobs mod. I assume it's the same in the base game now. Um... I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to, I'll have to double check that at some stage. But obviously, I'm not going to disable mods midway through in case I balk anything. So, getting Halitos on this is going to be much more valuable. Because, uh, like I said, we've got the bonus of having all this extra steel. And we've got the bonus of it having a much higher yield because of the new update. So, this is going to be quite ludicrous for us. And, and there's also uh, there's also going to be this area over here, which obviously has a massive amount of steel. Did we generate much else? I don't think we used the Grand Penetrator Scanner too frequently, did we? No. We've got Emerald there. Apparently, um... Plasteel, gold, silver, and steel have all been made lower, from what I remember. So I'm not sure about modded ores, but that's definitely true of the base game ones. So I guess uranium is probably untouched in that case. Anyway, we'll see it as we go along here, see, see how much more effective that is. Like I said, I have skipped ahead a little bit here. Thank you for that. I have skipped ahead a little bit here to get a little bit more research done, but it is still... We're, we're just over halfway... Say maybe like three fifths of the way there, but not quite. Um, still going to take a little bit more time before we've got the neural network, but I'm hoping we'll get that done for today. The other thing as well, yesterday you might remember we finished the Zoom, the the eye implants for Sharamus, which apparently we just can't install at all. So I checked on Delta and any of our human characters; those can receive the Zoom, but Sharamus cannot. Now, wait. Oh yeah, Sharamus cannot, but Sharamus the second can. So the point I was going to make is I think it's these mutinized. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the mutinized before we do anything else here and make sure that he is fully upgraded. Um, apparently we also have the bionic arms finished too. Do we really? Uh, two bionic arms, bionic spine, and two zoom. It's probably that all kind of stacking together. It's much harder to see what we've actually got at a glance there. Oh, because of course we sold up all the mecha tentacles, didn't we? Fantastic. Um, I suppose if there's anyone with a bad back, I think someone did have a bad back, did they not? Um, what have we got here? Uh, someone had a bad back. We could give those guys the... Uh, yeah, there we are. So, Sharamus the second, we could give the new Bionic Spine, give him back his 10% manipulation and his 30% moving. I think that's a great idea. Here you go. That was a bonus. I also got to give a uh, thank you to the comment section as well, who pointed out that for Rim Cuisine, there are, there used to be anyway, a bunch of submods for it that allowed you to use the ingredients. So, there's like a drug submod, a bottling submod, a meal submod. I've got the meals and the, and the preservative submod anyway. This will allow us to make all sorts of other fancy stuff, but the one that really took my attention was this one here. Extravagant meal. So the level above lavish meal, but you can see the ingredient cost for that is gigantic. Bear in mind, your base meal is 0.5 nutrition. This is four times the base level, and you need the variety as well. So this is going to be quite hefty. It's double the ingredients necessary for a lavish meal. But again, we have to make sure we have all the various inputs necessary. Uh, it just says 0.5 times the ingredients. So what I've done preemptively here is I've set up a job in the manager that will make sure we've always got 500 food in the stockpile. So you can see there, it's we've got 108 in the storage. It's marked 170 animals to be hunted, which I assume it's going out to do now. I wonder what it hunted there. I've limited it quite heavily to just herd animals. So I, I enabled herd animals, then disabled, obviously, predators and exploding, because sometimes herd animals and exploding have some overlap, boom loads being the obvious one. Uh, what does it designate then? I'm curious what, what we're actually getting here. 
Um, a couple of the Macarena big long giraffes. We've got the ground runners. Oh, that's it. Oh, man, I might have to be a bit more... I might have to be a bit more generous with it then. Because obviously, it designated two animals is not really enough. We might need more meat than that, especially if we want to go for this extravagant meal. We'll start cooking some. Pierre is back up on his feet. I've obviously given him his armor. I can equip his armor there, so he should be working pretty effectively as well. Um... Yeah, 13 cooking. So I don't know whether this had a specific skill. 15 cooking, right. So we actually don't have quite enough yet to even make extravagant meals. But I'm hoping we can get up to that stage. I'll go ahead and paste the job into there and we'll drop it below lavish too. But we can't even make lavish meals right now. So uh, extravagant meals are a little bit far away, I think. That's what I've got to mention very quickly. Uh, oh, right. So I spent the, you might remember we had the um, 30,000 gold, or sorry, 30,000 silver kicking around. I've gone ahead and traded that out for a bunch of settlement upgrades. Um, so we've got everywhere is being upgraded. We had just slightly enough to be able to upgrade absolutely everything and leave us with a tiny, tiny little bit of change, which I thought was quite nice. So we've got that going on. Um, food surplus and a food shortage. That's incredible. The... Someone uh, asked whether or not the unhappiness in our settlements was due to sending the prisoners there. Again, I don't believe it is because we sent the prisoners to to Lobo, Military Town, and Safety's Creek. Military Ta Crown is 100%. Uh, Lobo is 100%. Safety's Creek is down, but I believe the other one was one of our quarries. Yeah, right. Menes, the quarry. Now, this was on 7% when, uh, when we left off in yesterday's episode. It's now up to 10%. So, hopefully, the adult entertainment center alone is enough to fix that. And it's still making a nice, tidy profit. So, I'm not going to complain too much about that. But again, I think the reason that, that they're so unhappy is because I skipped forward two years to allow the uh, uh, as i said it has no impact on gameplay despite the fact that it has passed those two years the ages nothing doesn't matter there what it did do is it makes enemy faction bases stronger but we got a load of events for the settlements as well so i have a feeling they were just affected by a load of unhappiness events uh over that two years inverted commas then let's also go to so sharamus the first I need to take out your eyes if you don't mind. So remove part left eye, remove part right eye. The real reason it gave that away to me is that, look, we can install the zoom in Delta's right eye, but not her left, because that one's already got Aurum. So I assume that anywhere that already has a bionic, inverted commas, good God, I can't believe they just came along. You see that? Fastest snatched up all his gear there. Um, so anywhere that's got a bionic or any sort of uh, prosthetic, you can't replace with this zoom. So hopefully by removing them there, we should be able to fix that. Oh, also we made a silver statue called Roses. What's it called? Roses work, which is why I thought we'd leave it in here. Somebody said check the art on one of the coffins. I don't remember which one it was now. Um, we're going to have a quick look through. <laughs> I mean, that one's pretty good. This sarcophagus is engraved with the betrayal of Biggest Dickers hammering gold teeth carver with a battle rifle out of bleak necessity. Biggest Dickers looks distressed at what she's doing. That's fucking incredible. Nine priests appear near the main subject. That's, that's great. That's probably my favorite one so far. Oh my god. Monetization being killed out of bleak necessity. Blood is pooling around her body. Oh, great. That's really nice. Have we buried monetization in that one as well? That'd be incredible. We should have... Yeah, we actually have. That's absolutely fantastic. Imagine being buried in a coffin that has a picture of you dying on it. That's really brutal. Oh, and then the other comment I want to mention very briefly was that um, somebody asked what whether or not we were going to build these beam cannons and the bombard satellites. They look very, very cool, but the problem is they're single use. So we're throwing away like 50 plus steel, 10 uranium, and two advanced components, which we can't really spare right now because, of course, we're working on the bionics and the upgrades for a, a, a one-off weapon. It would be very, very useful to have one of these up in orbit so that if the Empire siege us, we can just knock them out with this very, very expensive... Like, it's it's a, a, an operation contingency plan, really, isn't it? So I might build one of those. We've got Bombard Settlement, or we've got uh, we've got Beam Cannon. Let's just take a look here. Um, okay, the, the satellite is ammunition for one volume. We'll power down afterwards. And then this one has... Um, powerful one shot will power down afterwards, right? So, it, so it is expending it either way. Question is, do you want a beam cannon or a bombard satellite? I imagine this one is obviously much larger. If you want to corral your enemies through a killbot satellite that we've got, it sounds like the beam cannon might be a better idea. So I'm gonna build one of those. I we did buy some advanced components from that caravan, so I guess we can spare this just to see what it is. I mean, we can't. It's a question of do we want to build bionics or do we want to build a freaking satellite that fires a laser? And in hindsight, it seems like a fairly obvious, uh, seems like a fairly obvious trade-off. So has that worked? We removed one of his eyes and we still can't install the zoom. Um, we may have just blinded our best character and have nothing to show for it. That's so weird. Why him? Why is it we can't install it on Sharamus? Yet we can on everyone else. Is it? I mean, it's not. Uh, I mean, maybe the. Something else is is interfering with it, perhaps? I have no idea what would what would affect that. 
Um, can we install new mutant eyes? We can install new mutant eyes. We just can't, for whatever reason, install the zoom into... Into Sharamus. And I thought it was also a racial thing, but the fact that we can install it into Sharamus the second means that that's quite clearly not the case. Um, maybe it's the lamps. I mean, it only covers up a certain area, though, does it not? Yeah, I have, I have honestly no clue. Is there a limit to the amount of bionics you can give someone? Maybe that's the case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Hmm. Well, look, we can use this opportunity to give them the bionic arms, and maybe by the time that's... So, install bionic arm, left shoulder, right shoulder. Maybe by the time this is done, it will allow us to install the eyes. Maybe there's a, a cooldown between one component being removed and another being added. A requirement on this? What to make? But change plus five. I don't think there is. An artificial eye with biogel nerve link. Blah, 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 blah. Uh... Yeah, I, I have absolutely no clue. I have really no idea why we can't install it into... He's not like teetotal or something, and then that one is... He is a teetotaler. Do you think that's probably it? I bought the idea of getting pleasure from chemicals, and the fact that this is a psychoid-based thing that gives... Th this was the thing, remember, we needed psychoid leaves to produce. There's no way that's it, is there? Because if so, that's incredible attention to detail. Let's see if we've got another teetotaler, and that would, that would kind of answer the question, wouldn't it? Um... Let's see here. What have we got? Optimist, Psychopath, Teetotaler. We do have another Teetotaler. Halitos. Uh, zoom, 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 zoom. Look, we can't install it on, on him either. And he, he has the two Mutant Knights, so we need to find someone... And, and it's not the Mutant Knight yet. Yeah, it's not the Mutant Knight that causes it. Oh, actually might be, because... Yeah, but we've removed it from the other guy. I'm not sure. I genuinely think it might be the fact that they're Teetotalers. I'm, I need to go find the... Um, I'll go find the mod page and see if that's actually the case. I guess we could always make uh, the Barnacle eyes instead. Now, I know the zoom gave 10% sight, but this gives a plus 25 efficiency. One in each eye will still give 50% efficiency. To be honest, the other the, the bonus of the zoom, of course, was the aiming time, which is unnecessary if you're swinging a big fuck off sword. And the zoom also gave, was it like medical 10 chance or something like that? Medical 10 quality offset, medical 10 speed, shooting accuracy and sight. I think we better give the zoom to Rose. And then just make some Barnic Eyes for Sharamus anyway. Let's do it. Why not? There you are. Uh, you can have this one. And then we need to remove the Mutant Eye as well, I guess. Um, remove part right eye. And then what's it will have to do with that one. I just hope Watts doesn't fuck this up. Unless we want to maybe give what's it one and Rose the other. That way both our Doctors are going to be so much more effective. Um, or do we want one Super Doctor? Put all our eggs in one basket. I mean, it's a great question. Especially with things like muscle parasites, which we, of course, have right now. So we'll point out to me as well, this is great, that the robot... Oh, he's lost it now, but the robot had muscle parasites, which I thought was incredible that we had to treat. So it didn't quite work there. Um, we get, Yeah, we're going to watch it working on that straight away. I think we better put all our eggs in one basket because of things like that. So if we get muscle parasites, sensory mechanics, whatever, the 10 quality can affect whether or not those will just straight be cured. So at least as far as I know, that's how it works. So we'll go ahead and work on that straight away. And we can always make more for what's it, right? How's our... Oh, our satellite's done. Oh, well, that's good. Um, off you go, then. Hey, very nice. And there it is. Orbital Beam Targeter. Should we have that on someone at all times? Should we just have the... Have her keep that in her inventory? I don't think she'll... She might empty it out, though. Uh, oh, unless we do that. If we, if we do it like that, she should now recognize it as, like, a weapon we want her to keep in her inventory, right? Fingers crossed. That would be awesome if, if, if uh, the click of a button, whenever Delta gets desperate, just click it and then we call in a beam. That's a, that's a fantastic plan. Okay, Mutant Eye is removed. Uh, let's go ahead and reset her health tab then. Install Zoom. I honestly think it might be the Mutant Eyes then that fucked with it in hindsight. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I, I believe it actually might be. Maybe if you've installed a Mutant Eye there, you can't ever get the, the Zoom. Maybe it's not a T-Teller thing. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um... It's definitely not there, is it? No, not at all. Man, I didn't know that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll assume then it's probably a bug, right? It's, it's probably a bug more than anything else. That's a bit of shame. Okay, well now we need to give her a fucking eye back again. Uh, mutant eye, right eye, and then we'll give the other zoom to Watson. Then we'll, we'll buff up both of our doctors. It's not a big deal, but a little bit annoying. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention as well in regards to the new update is that they've reduced the time that it takes to smelt metal from slag. The reason for that on the on the uh, patch notes is to basically reduce clutter more than anything else. But for us, it works pretty well because obviously we've got a lot of that kept over anyway. And we could really do with some steel. Although we're doing pretty well for steel right now. I think between the deep drill, um, which is going pretty okay. That Helitos, what are you doing right now if not deep drilling? 
Tending to fear? What the hell are you talking about? You're not a doctor. Helatos? He is a doctor. Oh, I had him on medical. I guess he's a backup doctor. Also, why have we got so much crap in the base now? I reinstalled the doormat. Somebody said put them under the doors. But in hindsight, I feel like I've been lied to again. Damn it, comment section. Well, luckily I also put down another bin. So hopefully it'll tidy itself. It gives the cloning bot something to do as well. You know what? I don't blame you, comment section. You were providing employment for my otherwise bored robots. Thank you. Much appreciated. Robert, you doing right now? Oh, so he's digging this out ready for the deep drill. Yeah, I suppose we might as well get that done first and then go back to the deep drill. Then we could just get this reinstalled straight away. And then when he's finished that, we'll get Pork installing a massive long power line over there. Oh, I should point out as well, a lot of people have been asking for the return of Upsa. Now, I'm not going to I'm not gonna confirm or deny rumors, but I'll just say stay tuned. A lot of people asked for Rose to come back, and of course Rose did find her way home. So... Maybe just keep your eyes peeled and, and don't don't panic if he doesn't immediately come back this episode or anything like that. I'll just say, keep your eyes open. Perhaps he's heard your request for him to return home. Nice, good work. Dels was found a lump of steel again. Oh, shit. Oh, and it's right by the area we found last time. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Um, how close is that? And we can also kind of show off the smaller area and get an idea for what we're... It doesn't really look much smaller, if you're asking me. Um, it doesn't look... The... It's, the mod is definitely updated. The, 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 the new update is definitely dropped, right? I'm not losing my mind here. This isn't for like a... This isn't a patch notes for an upcoming update. That's definitely a larger area on the deep drill. But that seems like the same size to me. Maybe we just got unlucky then previously. Who knows? There we are. So I figured we needed to really up our game here a little bit. Uh, Where's my, where's my golden tiles? Give me that back. Right, there we go. I figured we need to... Oh, what? Because they're bridges we can't put down golden tiles? Are you kidding me? If I'm ever going to use death mode for anything in the campaign, it'll be for that. It'll be to make sure that the last two tiles in <laughs> in the room of, of champions, the trophy room, has the final two golden tiles. I've expanded it for hopefully a fairly obvious reason, my friends. Now we can put in the jade billiards table to go along with the... Golden toilet, the jade stall door, the disguise uh, steel auto door. We got the silver chicken, and more importantly, the diamond hot tub. And we wonder why the raid is so difficult when we spent all our colony wealth on this shit. Are they researching? That's probably a better question. That's a good point. Why the hell did she? Oh, I also put down one of those as well, by the way. Um, for people wondering, there one of the biggest complaints across the board was that they were sleeping in the heat. And in hindsight, that's probably because we've got a nuclear reactor there. We've got a couple of coolers, obviously, trying to maintain it down below where insects can spawn in. And all of those are outputting their heat into this big area. Then we've got everything vented together. So I figured the sort of center of the base, the logical is the research room. And by putting the column in there, that's going to give the most sort of effect across the base. You can see there's nowhere now above 24 uh, in all of the bedrooms, which I think worked out quite nice. I think it was a 25 there, but that is... Yeah, that's someone's bathroom. I don't really care about the bathroom too much, to be honest with you. So that worked out pretty well. Um, the question is, why the hell aren't you researching? Ugh. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's do that. Uh, let's try that. Let's try that again. Are we good? How about now? Hang on. Delta. Uh, scanning a bit. Okay, I don't want you to do that. I want you to... Scan a grand penetrant scan. What the hell are you talking about? What? Research is a... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Why would I have turned off research like that? That doesn't seem like something I'd do. Did I do that in a in a desperation for steel? Huh. That seems a bit strange. And then what's it is out for the counts? Of course, he's just had his um just as I operated on. So that's reasonable, I think. Has Rose got both rise perfect? Right, so she's got the zoom and the mutant eye now. That's a real shame that it's kind of stopped us from from installing th those those zooms into Sharamus, but the Barnet eyes are done, so hopefully that will work. If not, yeah, so we can install Barnet eyes instead. Okay, that's fine. I was going to say, if that didn't work, then we know it's definitely a bug perhaps caused by the mutant eye. Yeah, I still don't know why that is then. That's a, that's a complete mystery to me. Oh, we got a trade caravan. What are you guys? Bold goods trader. Hey, that's great news. Okay. Uh, they are only like a medieval tech level settlement here, but we might as well see what they've got. Fingers crossed they've got plenty of steel to replace the fact that we just launched a beam cannon into orbit. Um... What have you got for me, Chief? Pemmican, heart attack, goblin meat. See, none of this is really the steel I'm looking for to replenish my beam cannon, but that's okay. Uh, Sound some insect kites in there. We get rid of all this crap. Don't want this. Uh, let's bring me MP shells. Hey, you guys got anything good? Nothing. Not even any gold. Wow. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping they would at least have one or two steel. Whatever. Let's get Delta then to see if we can call in. You gotta be careful. We're only plus 62 with our own faction right now. 
So we don't want to go too crazy with this. Um, really, I should leave it for another few points. Just so we never go below 50. However, actually, we should have left it longer in hindsight because we've only got 191 gold. Well, hopefully we can sell something off then. That was my bad. Uh, when's the next When's the next bill coming in? Uh, 1.1 days. Well, the caravan will take longer than that to get here. And hopefully by the time the caravan gets here, we can also have it delivered as well. So it might not be too bad. All right, give me a power cable. We're going to run it all the way into here just for the purposes of... Oh, God, can we avoid building a bridge? Just for the purposes of getting some steel, we're going to spend like... This is probably going to take us about 200 steel just to be able to hook this up. Uh, but it'll definitely be worth it in the long term. There we are. And how are we going over here? Uh, and at, what, what sort of speed are we looking at now, then? I want to be able to check this if we can. 51, 52. It's actually still very fast, isn't it? Despite the fact we're no longer gaining those mining bonuses. That's still pretty decent. And I assume the base work speed is affected by their, by their mining skill, evidently. Um... But well, that's pretty good. And then what sort of yield are we looking at? I'm hoping he can finish this off here. Uh, stop. Uh, get back on there. So you're 27 right now. 98, 99, and 100. Oh, so that wasn't a huge amount. There's only 12 steel. But if that's only 12 steel, I mean, per area, and it's a bit more automated now as well. It's got 21 square radius uh, minus the oh, 21 square overall minus the middle. I mean, that's still going to be, what, 240 steel? That's still a good amount. Oh, and also, are you fucking moron. You absolute fool. It also kind of helps if you do give them a hunting job. Genius. Right, so let's go ahead and take you off of hunting. Um, who else do we want to take off of hunting? I guess there's no point having Pierre do it, given that he's the bloody chef. And then we'll also remove both of our researchers. So those guys should be back on it. Yeah, there we are. So all it took was a bit of a job reset. I imagine that's probably where I installed the Room Cuisine mod. It probably added something new to the research tree, so it just needed cycling. I'll have to bear that in mind if we ever do that in the future. Um, it's kind of my bad for forgetting to install it, or not realizing we needed that in the first place. We do have an entire meat, though. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, those things are quite large, aren't they? Oh, shit. <laughs> and, of course, they'd be attacking poor little pain. Run, pain. Run, pain. Otherwise, you're going to find out what you call that. Please, please, run, 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 run. Run. This would be a great time for Opta to come back. Save his life. Or don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, who are we looking for, then? Let's get whoever is closest just to give us... Uh, you know what? Draft everyone. Draft everyone. This is potentially life or death here because these things are quite large and quite strong. And he's already bleeding out in seven hours. Right. Get down here. He's down. Seven hours. Okay. We've still got seven hours on it. Please help him out. Damn it. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that the manager mod designated an animal that was so likely to attack back. You know, I thought it might have gone for some safer ones. There might even be an option to do that, which I'll have to check out. Wow. They are quite strong. Holy shit. That was an entire... Was that an entire volley from a charge LMG? Yeah. And it's up to 87%. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, my God. This could be a bit of a concern. Run, Rose. Otherwise, Rose is going to be the next one on the list. You know what? We don't have time to be falling back here. Everyone line up here and give Rose a bit of fire support, perhaps. Um, let's send Sharamus 2. Sharamus 2, you need to drop that sword. Let's go like that. Um, where is Sharamus 1? Sharamus 1's on his way through. Chuck that on the floor. That's no longer yours. Get rid of it. Uh, eat. Right. Forget about that. You're on shotgun duty instead. Charamus 1, get your sword back. Uh, equip mana sword. There we are. Run, Rose. She's fine. She actually hasn't been hit yet. Holy shit. If we lose any of those barnacles that we've implanted now, that would suck. Right, get him down here. Where is he? Charamus the first. Oh, I forgot to, forgot to draft him up. That's my bad. Right. Uh, help. Go. Slay. Slay, brother. Help me. Okay, 61, 46. Rose got hit. Rose got hit. It's fine. 88. Wow, those things can take an absolute beating. Holy shit. Good God. Okay, I need to check if there's, a, there's something on the manager that will prevent that from happening again. See if there is a way to... Uh, are you? Can you still walk fine? Bruised in the foot. No, apparently not. Bollocks. Uh, what's it? Rescue pain in that case. I'm trying to arrest pain. No, no, no. Is he still walking? Oh, he's back up. Okay, wow. Um, sure, I'm going to just have pain escort him back in that case. This is where we need the mod, where you can force them to... Uh, Force them to go down so someone else can carry them back. There's nothing else I can really do here besides wait for him to be down again from the blood and then have what's it carry him. To put down a sleeping spot very quickly and give him some... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I didn't want to do it out here because obviously the chance of infection of tending someone in the mud tends to be quite high. Um, all right, let's drop down a sleeping spot, turn into medical, have him rest there. There we go. And then I need you, my friend, to get doctor care. Wow, that sucks. What a terrible hunt. Did you lose anything? Lost an arm. Okay, that's pretty big. Um... We'll give you a mutant arm for the time being in his left arm. I did this last time where I accidentally uh, lopped off their good arm and replaced it with a mutant arm. and still left them missing an arm. 
There we go. Is he good now? Can he can he make his way back to the tending? There we are. Okay, cool. So now he's got the operation. Obviously, he will not only go back to the hospital, but if he does get any infection or anything, he's going to be in the best place for it. Pretty sure everybody's got a gun. Uh, Droid Zero, your shooting skill is terrible. I'm going to give you a charge minigun purely so that there's a good chance that it'll hit something, basically. And someone else didn't have a gun. It was Pierre. Uh, what have you got for you? Chain shotgun. Chain shotgun's obviously incredible. We've got gorse lance there, too. Depends on his shooting skill, really. I think I'll give him the chain shotgun instead again. It's kind of... Give him a, a decent chance to hit at least something. Can I install mutant arm needs material? What? Oh, because I've still got him sent to doctor care. Ah, genius. Okay, there we go. Right, I was going to say, hang on a minute. We've definitely got more than enough. Which one is going to be looking at right now? So we've obviously got the job. Oh, it's paused. Right. Maybe I should have it unpause at 10 instead. Because a bad raid would definitely require more than... Let's have it unpause at 12. I think it's a better idea. A bad raid could still potentially use up 12 medicine very, very easily. So, I mean, the only thing I'm not confident about is our, our actual amount of resources because we lost our boom lobes, did we not? But yeah, we've only got like three, four boom lobes left. So the amount of neutramine we can produce now is obviously a lot more limited. Axis build, there we go. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to beat that exotic trade good caravan here. Um, would it be better? What, what do you think about getting the silver, waiting for the caravan to turn up, then see if there's anything worth buying, then resolving the bills afterwards. Because it would suck if we resolve these bills and then are like, you know, 500 gold short of being able to get cataphract armor or something like that. Especially when we know that these colonies are basically just going to give us more steel or something like that. Which isn't super desperate like right now, I will admit. I've also built this guy's shaft to make himself a bit more convenient here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I genuinely thought... Simultaneously, three of our people became optimists there. But it's all Droid Zero, because of course Droid Zero has no mood. Um, Solus Automaton giving t a permanent 200 to mood there. Right. Oh, but it can't have any traits either, because it's a bloody android. Right, that could have been a bit recursive. You need to be careful about that. Um, right, so I've, I've replaced that with a tall shelf instead now, because I didn't take into account the fact that we have a lot more. Bear in mind, because we're also recycling the apparel, we have a lot more than just cloth and hyperweave. We have just about everything. There we are. Our taxi here. Fantastic timing. Okay. Oh, I need to put down another tax bot. I removed it, obviously, where we had the excess tax from the time skip. So let's put down a new tax bot somewhere in here and make it a bit more convenient. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we just got to wait for that trader to turn up and see if we can get ourselves some more tech prints. I think we'll have this finished by today. I'm going to make sure this is finished by today. Let's put it that way. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, no, we'll just go from the giant giraffe over to our whole fucking... It's fear again. Oh, no, wait. Pain was the one who got fucked up last time. Run fear. Is that an entire... Oh, it's an entire manhunter pack. There's got to be a way to stop them hunting such such spooky, spooky animals. Hang on a minute. Um, try to reach count all on map. I don't think there is. I think I would actually have to go through and untick everything with a, with a risky... Hang on. Uh, what about this? Hang on. But Okay, that doesn't... Brilliant. You know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Maybe I should just manually do the hunting destinations instead. Because I feel like that might give us... That might give us a bit more of uh, <laughs> an advantage here. Uh, let's go ahead and draft everybody up. Who does not have a defensive position? Droid Zero, Sharmus the second, Sharmus the first, and Pierre. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. He literally just stopped to drink water as he was running away. Oh. Well, that's another one of the, the, the fear children downed. Brilliant. As long as everyone's going to get to the kill box, it shouldn't be really too difficult. I need to update their um, defensive positions given the new kill box variation as well. So I'll save this one this time around so that they... Whenever the rhinos decide to fucking... Oh, robots! Whenever the rhinos decide to come in... Hang on. Uh, recall all. Thank you. Turn around. Jesus. Oh, God. Rose, with Rose, you do not want to be there. Rose! Please kill that rhino. We've done it. Exotic goods trader. Bail us out. Kill these rhino. It's a little bit field tending again, unfortunately. How are you looking? Did you you didn't lose anything this time. That's good. Okay, that's fine. Um, so it's all that caffeine again. Drink a whole can of, of tasty on branded cola drink. If you can fight a rhino, it's white should be should be illegal. I don't believe it. Okay, so they, they didn't actually didn't lose anything, thank God. Fortunately, I did have to disable the fucking hospital beds once again. I need to get that stabilized mod again. I'm, I'm not gonna add it in this series, but for the future. Seeing the benefits to it, that's basically what we had with, um, basically what we had with Combat Extended, right? They basically offer the same sort of thing we can stabilize on the field and then bring them back afterwards. Let's get all these damn robots out there. All right, where's my exotic goods trader? Delta? Let's see if this was all worth it. Vin, show me what you've got, Vin. Uh, they got a lot of dead ons. I don't really want those too much. Uh, advanced components could be tempted. Um, uh, Tech Prof Sub Persona Core. 
We've got a research with 36,000 research points necessary coming up. I think that's got to go on the list. It'll save us so, so much time. Uh, have they got any steel? No steel. They do have plasteel, though. Um, although not really that much. I'm not too tempted. Um, energetic kidney and an energy core. What the hell is an energy core? It is a heart. Because hit points move speed. So hit points move speed is quite significant. And a 50% rest rate modifier. That would be really good for someone who has a lot of work to do. Which I suppose isn't anybody particular. I need one. Give me one in real life. What have we got here? Blood filtration, immunity, gain speed. Sure. Why not? It's either that or we're going to buy the advanced components anyway, right? And what's an aesthetic shaper? Uh, gives plus one beauty. What? Where does that go? Uh, interesting. I guess we'll buy that. Why not? Give it to Delta and then maybe our husband will come home. <laughs> no tech prints, but that's that's a minor, that's a minor loss there. I'm not too bothered about that one. The tech prof sub, sub persona core is is gonna be massive for us. Particularly when it gets to, again, 36,000. We can fulfill that instantly. So not only by the end of the day will we have the neural networks finished, but we will also will have cybernetic organism. You want to see Cyborgs. This is the most advanced cybernetics mod I've ever seen for RimWorld. We never got this far using this mod ever before. So this is going to be pretty massive. Oh, no. They've got Ultra Tech weapons and we can't afford it. It's three. It's almost 4,000 friggin' silver. Um... Is there anything we can sell? No. We sell them some crusty peanuts. Well, that's a great start. We've only got to crack another <laughs> 3,800 and we are good. Um, all right. Get rid, of the, get rid of this crap. Oh, there's got to be something. All right. Sell, sell, it, sell it all. We can finally get rid of the throwing knives. Well, thank God for that because those can't be smelted. They can't be destroyed. They just won't go. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Frag grenades. Flight vests. Oh, no. This is a nightmare. Uh, although, 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 look at this, look at this, we're fine, hang on, sell the silver statues, which I assume are worth more than the sum of their parts, are they, it's 750 isn't it, I don't know, it doesn't matter too much, um, go rid of that one, go rid of the boots, we actually might, we just scraped it, holy shit, uh, genuinely, if we didn't sell the peanuts, I don't think we'd be able to afford it, where's it gone, ultra tech weapons, give me that, if we hadn't sold the peanuts, we wouldn't be able to afford it, genuinely, look at that, okay, Boom. I will give you all of this crap and five peanuts, sir. You got yourself a deal. Wow, we got ultra tech weapons too. That's fucking massive. Um, where have they... Where is that? Thank you. Ah, oh, and two silver change. Appreciate that. Might as well just apply with Delta. It doesn't matter too much. I know I was training up... Um, so I guess not out a lot to be a backup researcher or maybe a backup scanner. I guess we could use them as a backup scanner. What's he doing right now? Harvesting Cucumba. Um, you know what? Let's, let's give this guy a bit more... Let's give this guy a bit more credit. Because we're going to have a lot to research now. Um, oh, no one reserved research bench available. I've got anything to do on that. Just to give him the XP boost. That way, if we do end up using him as as an intellectual... Um, as, as a scanner, that would help out just a little bit more. There we go. Go get that Go get that sorted. I don't know if, the, if that will require multiple tech prints. I don't know if it's another one of those. Um, complete the requirements. There we go. We've actually done it. Holy shit. Okay, then. Um... I guess we'll add it onto the list. So, Ultra Tech Weapons. What are those, even? What is that for? Oh, wow. The Mono Sword, the Plasma Sword, and the Zeus Hammer. Oh, very cool. Okay, so if we wanted to give Sharamus a bit of weapon variation, give him a Zeus Hammer for when the Mechanoids come, give his Mono Sword, obviously, when he's fighting your regular foe. That's pretty fantastic. At long last, Neural Network is finished. The, the, the second highest level cybernetics tech I've ever seen. And then finally, watch this shit. Boom. Defense successful. That, that's exactly what I meant. No. What actually happened is cybernetic organism is now complete. I assume... Do we have to go and finish that off or do I have to reset the... I'm pretty sure that's finished. Uh, you, can re you, can remove that from the, you can remove that from the tech tree there, brother. Uh, whenever, you, whenever you're ready. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. It's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit not entirely, not entirely working there. Is that finished? Is that definitely working? It didn't say research, you know, complete or anything like that. I assume it's done then. So now if we check here, what have we got? Hover feet, green thumb, compression jaws, compression stomach, lungs, power arms. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got a lot to see then. We've got a lot to see. Passion givers, mind clearers, reconditioners, neuromod boosters. Good god. Elastic Achilles. My favorite plastic Greek man. I guess then, what I'll do is I'll go through and I will try and do the maths, crunch the numbers on 
What combination of all of these bionics? We've got, I mean, we've easily got two, three dozen bionics here. What combination of them will produce the greatest warrior possible? And that'll be the final goal for the series, I guess, is to, is to actually use all of these resources. Bear in mind, I would love to say, hey, let's upgrade everybody, but that's never going to happen. Bear in mind, right now we've got 190 silver, two, we've got 2,000 steel to work with. That might get us a third of the way there. I don't know. It depends how expensive some of these uh, 2,500 silver, 250 gold, 75 plus steel, 75 uranium. Okay, this is going to take a long fucking time. For me to plan out, at least. But as long as we start, you know, we've got the resources, we've got the tithe going. We might be able to accrue resources over the next couple of episodes to get ourselves the ultimate warrior. And I'm going to send Sharamus. I'm going to set Sharamus the Cyber Orc on the Empire. We'll send him in to lead the siege. And we'll see what damage we can do. In that case, thank you all for watching. If you're interested and, and want to help out with the... Uh, want to help out trying to work out what our best Orc warrior will be. Come and join me on Discord after this has gone live. And we'll see if we can... Get some numbers together. If any of you have any experience with this, it will be most appreciated. So, uh, please let me know. Thank you to all of you at home for watching, firstly. And thank you to all the patrons for making the channel possible in the first place. Today, I was going to make new patron lists. And then, I checked the Patreon page for my current active patrons, and it said I had none. So, as you can imagine, this is devastating for business. I think... Uh, somebody said they also had to re-log into the website, so I assume they've just rolled out a website update that maybe fell over. God knows. But hopefully I'll have those finished by tomorrow. Thank you in the meantime to Scaz, Scorched, Pelvis Presley, Amethyst Corona, Roll 2D1 Games, Gogolus, My Name Isn't Dio, Harik, Gwaness, Northern Bear, Derek, Nostrus, Paul, Leo, Odie, James Shea, Harry McGowan, Goatfather, Alex, Crow Skull, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. That is the end of my Insane Tier list, so hopefully by tomorrow we have a new update regarding that one. And a thank you as well to Tofu10, Mr. Awesome, RKL, Astro, Panther Pearl, Silent Sentinel, Asaro, Cam, Choma, Noobmeister, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Valkyrie, Don, Hated, and... Everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support. And I'll see you all tomorrow with hopefully some spreadsheets and numbers. Everyone's favorite thing.